I am surrounded on every side, can see the light of day, but I am persuaded beyond all hope, you won't let go of me, I stake my claim on every word you say, you will not be late. I will see through fire and thunder Cause you are on my side I trust you with my life I know the story, it isn't over Even against all odds You are a faithful God The darkest of weather, though I can't see, I still believe you're good. So I'm moving forward through crashing waves. I know I'm safe with you. You hold my life, you hear me when I cry with every breath inside. I will sing through fire and thunder Because you are on my side I touch you with my life I know the story, it isn't over Even against all odds You are a faithful God That's who you are Your promises will hold together And I will dwell in the hope of your love forever I am convinced that your promises will hold together And I will dwell in your love And I will sing you fire and thunder Because you are on my side I trust you with my life I know my story, it isn't over, even against all odds, you are a faithful God, that's who you are, you are a faithful God. Minister Lois and Sidney Lassiter, amen. Very key people in our lives. We go back, all the way back to maybe the late 70s, amen, but especially the early 80s. And um, actually, even before I was licensed in ministry, we met. And um, they've been very key people, not just in my life, but in Sister Burke's life, amen. Sister Perry, the entire Cofield family. And... Um, you were already functioning there with them when we met, I believe. You know, they went to Oxley Hill, amen, Reverend Bonner, and then he brought in um, um, Minister Sidney Lassiter. And through their work at that church, they had like a, a little revival going on, impacted the entire Cofield family, amen. People were getting saved, filled with the Spirit of God, deliverance. God was blessing there. And then God turned around and did the same thing in our church. Now, uh, and so, but... As far as he and I, you know, we used to, uh, this was back when we used to have like the big reels that you had to mount to project uh, movies. We were involved at Riddish Grove at that time and then showing videos like A Thief in the Night and A Distant Thunder and having evangelistic services. And we would invite a group called the Voices of Grace and you were the lead singer, weren't you? Amen. So he was the lead singer at that time. Amen. Sister Perry was singing with him. Sister Burke was singing with him. I didn't know my wife was in that group at the time. And, and uh, so, but they would come and sing. And then we, we had a little revival going on at that church too. So the key events at those two churches 
were directly tied to the ministry that's here right now. And for that, we give God glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So we're very honored to have him with us today. Also, uh, he's, he's a key in my meeting, Sister Burke. There were different times where people tried to get us together, and it, just, it wasn't the time it evidently. But I remember one time I was at a um, um, concert at Elizabeth City State, and I was supposed to meet Brenda that night. And Shirley Caesar called us up on stage, the preachers in the house, and I was on stage. I wasn't having it right after I left. <laughs> and, but we did eventually meet, and after we met, well, a few months later, we were married. Amen. So to that, we praise God. Amen. amen. Divine connections are important, aren't they? Amen. So we give God glory for that. Amen. Um, Y'all have been married, I believe, for 41 years. Amen. Praise God. Four children. Amen. Van, Danae, Jordan, and Brad. Amen. And um, a very good uh, inspirational couple. Amen. We'll be blessed by the word today. And so I'm just going to step aside, and I want to present to Harvest Christian, amen, Minister Sidney Lassiter. Come, brother, amen. Let's give, 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 give God a praise for him as he comes in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God is awesome. He is awesome. I want you to look at someone today and say, hey. If they didn't respond, say it a little louder. Hey! hey! Do you know the awesome God that we serve? Amen. Do you know the awesome God that we serve? If you don't know, if you don't know it's, time. it's time. It is truly time. It is truly time. Praise God. Amen. Listen, I, I want to say something before I start ministering. Um, there's a young man here that I've known for years. We worked together. And one night, Satan tried to take my life, working at the dye plant. <laughs> Larry, that young brother there was with me. Amen. I um, was gathering boxes that we had gotten the cloth out of. We usually had to do that just before we knock off. And the machine would lift you up about over 70 feet, wasn't it, Larry? And um, the little wheel on the machine got stuck in the crack in the cement. And it, you don't have anything for protection but a bar, two bars on each side. And the machine started to rocking. There was nowhere for me to jump. But when it tilted completely over, I fell out, face down on the cement floor. And the machine started falling down on me. And it got about, maybe about three inches from hitting me and stopped. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Now, Larry heard the noise. And I was trying to get up. And he said, man, what happened? I said, help. And I fell in his arm. He laid me down, ran and got the supervisor. I had another cousin that was there, and he saw what happened. Whatever he was smoking took the highway from him. <laughs> he just knew I was going to die. But the grace of God. Amen. I thank God for that brother there. Amen. He confirms the testimony. That if there was nothing to stop that machine from coming all the way down but God. Amen. Praise God. God had a purpose. Amen. Amen. And I want to say something to, the, to, to you all here that, that singing. You all are anointed. And you are assigned to do what you do. Sister, you may look like you shy. But when the anointing of God is on you, it's a difference. Amen. You may feel uncomfortable sometimes, but relax in the spirit of God. Amen. And let the Lord do what he wants to do through Glory. you. Amen. 
Come out of the box. Let the anointing have full control. And the Spirit of God will touch some souls through what you all do. Amen. Another thing that I saw and that I heard, you sing the word. Amen. Now, a lot of this stuff they call gospel music is garbage. But when you sing the word, Amen. it affects your spirit, man. Amen. Continue to sing songs in them. You, you ladies know when we had the voices of grace, where would I get my words from? From the Bible. Sing that word over yourself. Amen. Building yourselves up in your most holy faith. Amen. I praise God. That, that excited me to hear that. The word. Being sung. Amen. Let me get, let me, let me get, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks for this opportunity to share your truth. Yes. I thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit saturating this hall. And God, we give you glory for the leadership here, God, and for all the people that are taking part. For they are favored as servants in one accord. And we give you praise, God, for this word today. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. amen. Second Kings chapter 4. Starting with verse 8. I would like my wife to read for me if she would. And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as often as he passed by, he turned in thither to eat bread. And she said unto her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is an holy man of God, which passeth by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray thee, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick, and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither. And it fell on the day that he came thither, and he turned into the chamber and lay there. And he said to Gehazi his servant, Call this Shudamite. And when he had called her, she stood before him. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? Wouldest thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among mine own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Verily, she hath no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto, that, do not lie unto thine handmaid. And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on the day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said unto his father, My head, my head. And he said to a lad, Carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Amen. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Slack not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. Stop right there. Amen. The Lord gave me for a subject. Putting things in the right place while talking with the right people. Amen. Putting things in the right place while talking to the right people. Now, first of all, she and her husband noticed that this was a man of God. 
And they wanted to be a blessing to him because he was always traveling past their house. And they knew that he had traveled far and still had a good ways to go. So the wife went to the husband and said, Honey, I know this is a man of God. Let us be a blessing to him. So they got together and they built on a room just for that purpose. They gave him a bed, a stool, a place where he could lodge and rest during his travels. And on this particular traveling experience, he asked the woman of God, do you have any desires? Do you have anything that need to be done? Do you want me to go before the king on your behalf? And she told him, she said, no, I'm among my own people. See, back in those days, if a woman was out from her country, a prophet could go before the king on her behalf. Amen. And whatever she had need of, whatever she's supposed to have, because of the prophet's word, the king took it. Amen. Face value. Didn't question it. Just said, Give her what she's supposed to have. Now, she said, no, no, I'm, I'm among my own people. And the servant observed that there was no children in the house. And he said, uh, uh, Master, she doesn't have a child. Her man is old. And he said, well, the next time I come here, through here, nine months later, same year, you will have a baby. Amen. And she looked at him, like most of us will do sometime when God <laughs> says something unusual, un not practical. Amen. You must be lost your mind. <laughs> My husband just can hardly walk. You talking about having a baby? Don't lie to me. Don't play with me. I'm putting out vernacular. Don't you play with me. Amen. Come in here with that stuff. Well, guess what? She had a baby. See, what God does, he take what you call foolish yes. to prove to you that he's God. Amen. Just like when y'all first start trying to find somewhere to go, this land was here. What are you going to do? That's right. Y'all ain't got nothing. How in the world are you going to think you're going to get this? And those that was thinking like that, they see it now. Amen. It's good to see the vision, for the vision is revealed. That's right. Amen. 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 Now, y'all ain't church folk now. Y'all say folk. Don't, don't be <laughs> getting mad with me now. Y'all say folk. Because so many times us say folks get in the way of God's plan. Because, are you sure you want me to do this? Especially when you're around nobody that had the same mindset you got. Mm -hmm, that's right. and, and you, Lord, you sure you want me to do this? If the Lord told Jacob, go out there on that property that I put out here for you. Walk around it seven times. Folks would declare he was crazy. <laughs> But out of obedience to the Lord, you do what he says do. See, the crazy ones that stand that you're crazy, they don't have a purpose. Right. They don't know the vision. Amen. And they sure don't know the God that talked to you. Amen. Because they would have come out there and walked with Amen. you. Praise God. God desires to do the impossible where folks said ain't possible. Amen. And he don't do it just for anybody but for those that are household of faith. Amen. Those that know him as Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. Those that know him as King of Kings. Amen. Look, if it was possible for God to bring this man over here in Elizabeth City, somewhere to meet this woman in Eaton, Amen. God know how to make connections Amen. when you don't think it's possible. Amen. God know how to put 
who need to be together. Amen. I can tell y'all something. My wife might not want me to tell it, but I'm going to tell it. <laughs> to show you how God works. See, sometimes, like uh, Don, Jacob, <laughs> and the rest of you men right here, we can be fools yeah. and miss it Amen. if God don't intervene. I was engaged to somebody else on campus. Took the girl home, meet my mom and dad, all my siblings. They fell in love with her. I went to see her folks. They fell in love with me. But somewhere along the line, I had another sweet sister in the Lord. And this, this girl that I was engaged to had planned a surprise birthday gathering for me, and I won't on time. Didn't know anything about it. So she sent one of my buddies and said, man, you in trouble. What do you mean I'm in trouble? Lord Rain been waiting on you. Lord have mercy. So I go on over there, <laughs> walk into the dorm, and he was laughing at me. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. So I walked on in, walking down the hall. There was a young lady in the hall door, and she saw me coming. She asked me to come to her room. And she said, look, she said, I gave my life to the Lord, but I got hung up on alcohol, and I'm trying to break this thing. What should I do? You acknowledge it before the Lord. Ask God to deliver you, and he shall deliver you. You know who you belong to. You better come on here. <laughs> That's the voice I heard coming from the woman that I was engaged to. Larry, I told you, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> went on down the hall, went in the room like a little puppy. <laughs> and um, she fussing. I'm just sitting down praising the Lord, you know. And one of my sisters in the Lord, I thank God for, whew, told me, Sydney, I know you love her, but she's not the one. Amen. You are an outgoing person. You are concerned about souls, and she's concerned about control. Mm. Wow. Amen. Ah. Now, I heard her. I heard what she said. But flesh said, no, she wrong on that one. <laughs> Y'all know we like that, especially in our young walk with the Lord. Right. That's right. Didn't want to hear that. Mm -mm. So time went on. I told this girl I couldn't marry her. Woman ran out in the street in front of cars. I had to go out there and get her, wow. bring her back to safety. And I said, Lord. Why you let me get in this mess? You know what Lord said? You did it. <laughs> I didn't do it. You made that choice. I didn't tell you to do that. So many times you want to blame God for the choice we make, for the things we do, and he didn't did it. You did it. You did it. Can I use my brother right there? Come here, Larry. Now, we can be, this can be nice. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Listen, I love this brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I love him even when he won't say. Amen. I witnessed to this brother. Amen. On that job. But he, 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 he didn't think he heard it. I was planting a seed. Amen. I was planting a seed. He had that afro. <laughs> now I need to give some miracle growth. <laughs> now, he would listen, but he still was doing his own thing. And I didn't, did I push you away? I'm going to shake you right there. I said, You plant the word, let God do the rest. That's right. Amen. Let God do the worst. Amen. And it's been the same way. Since he'd been saved, like it was yesterday. Amen. 
and I praise God for him. Amen. See, a lot of times you think you're planting a seed, ain't nothing happening. You just got to wait. God, you just got to wait till the weed die. Amen. And you may not be around when the weed die. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Amen. Love Amen. you, man. Amen. Ah, glory. Well, to make a long story short, here I am. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. That's my gift from God. Amen. If you tell the young people, don't get in a relationship until you have gotten on the ship. Amen. Praise God. That's good. What ship I'm referring to? Salvation. Amen. That's right. Because you're subject to get a sailor <laughs> that's drunk, yep. foolish, yes. con uncontrollable, yes. dictate what he want, Amen. when he want it, how he want it, yep. and then nine months later, they ain't mine. Listen, now, that man and wife, her son died. When he died in her lap, y'all got to remember this now. There's a house that has a room for the daddy and mama, a room for the child, and a room for the man of God. Amen. She didn't take that child to their room. She didn't put that child in his room, but she put that child in the messenger's room Amen. where the anointing lies. Right. See, now, she already knew this man was anointed. She already knew this man was appointed. She put that child in the residue of the man's anointed room. And she goes to her husband. Honey, can I get one of the servants can I and I get one of the asses and he said for what I want to go see the man of God wait a minute it ain't the new moon it's not the Sabbath why are you going she said all is well all is well I just need to see him Amen. she got that mule got that servant and she gave him an ultimatum don't you slow. Y'all know how you do with get your hands on your head. You got to get your point across. Amen. You better not slow down unless I tell you. I can't get that network like y'all do. <laughs> but she said, I ain't, don't you dare slow down unless I tell you. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Amen. She probably said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> I don't care, care what crossed the road. If it crossed the road, it was dead. If, if one won't dead, we're close to it. Because if you run into a horse or a mule or anything going full speed, it's going to be some damage. Right. So she went forth. And the, the, the man of God, he was up in Mount Carmel. And he looked down and saw something coming in a distance. Because of the anointing on his life, he said, that looks like that Shunammite woman. Go meet her and see is all well. Now, that's, now, go back. First of all, she put the baby in the right place. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. That's the first thing. She put the child in the right place. Then she gets permission to go travel and find a man of God. After she got permission, God showed the man of God that it was her coming Amen. from a distance. Yeah. What am I saying right here? A lot of times God knows what he has planned for you from a distance. Amen. You just got to trust his leading to get there. <clears throat> Y'all see that? God sees it from a distance, but you got to trust him to get there. Amen. So, 
Instead of him coming down for, for himself, he sent Gehazi down. Go check on this woman. See, it's all well. Now, I, I want to I illustrate this to you, how she gave him an answer. Uh, Brenda, can I use you for an example? Yeah, I hope y'all don't mind me doing illustrations. Because no, a lot of times, you receive it better. You can see it, visualize it. Amen. Now, you already got your mind made up what, what you come to do, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to come to you and ask you, if everything okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. Everything okay? Well. Keep walking. <laughs> you sure? It is well. No, come, look, he told me to come ask you. Wait a minute. You, well, ain't nothing wrong? Okay. See, now, he was trying hard to get her to say right. what she shouldn't say. Because, mm -hmm. you know, most time, a mother frantic, I mean, she know her child about to leave for good. She know her child is in danger of uh, uh, just closing the eyes and not walk, waking him up anymore. But she was determined to say the right thing, Amen. regardless of what the questions were, regardless of what the hesitation was. Right. What she did, she never changed her profession. COVID was going around, I ain't changed my profession. I'm the healer of the Lord. What that stuff going to do to me? It's going to die if it kind of connect. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Bill. I, I, you know, but I'm trying to make you all see something. In your walk with God, it has to be constant faith. Amen. Not just on Sunday when you come in here. Monday, constant. Tuesday, constant. Wednesday, constant. Thursday, constant. Friday, constant. Saturday, constant. Sunday, constant. Amen. I don't care what they said about your car. Amen. I don't care what they said about your body. Amen. Who you belong to. As, as, a, as a song, you say, who's your daddy? Amen. You got to know who size you on. Amen. That's why David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not want. See, when you know you ain't got it wrong, all you got to do is ask. That's right. Yeah. So, Gehazi came. She told him all is well. But when she got to the man of God, the word says she fell on her knees Amen. and said, you said. <laughs> so a lot of times you want to go to the wrong people. Amen. Sometimes you want to go to our sister. And sister's going to get mad because somebody hurt you. Forget about the word. No, no, no. That, that's my blood, buddy. <laughs> I got like that one time. It's, uh, I went home from work. And my wife called me. I, I'm sorry, bro. I got <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say this. I locked the witness jail. <laughs> my hands on board mess with disrespect to my wife. Yes, I was saved. Amen. I'm preaching. Yeah. I'm ready to lay hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give him some deliverance. <laughs> Without the R.D. <laughs> Messing with my queen. Mm-mm. And she came out and said, come now, baby, I'm going to lose your job. I want to get somebody in my job to pick him up, but no, I couldn't do that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this we got to continue to stay in faith Amen. regardless how it looks regardless how it feels Amen. and if you're not strong by yourself call somebody else in like faith, Amen. Like faith. I ain't saying no faith Amen. I ain't saying hope they got it but like faith. And who should have like faith? If the one in your house ain't got it, Amen. but go somewhere. That, that's right. You both supposed to have a like faith. That's right. Touching and agreeing for the same thing. Amen. Touch and agreeing for the same change. Amen. 
like faith. When she fell on her knees, she said, you said that I would have a child. Now that child laid up in your room. You got to do something. Amen. She didn't say the child was dead now. She never spoke that child was dead. Right. But, she, but she told me, you got to do something. Now, see, now, look, listen to this. Instead of him going, he sent a servant that didn't give the message. Did y'all catch that? Amen. He sent the servant, Gehazi, to take his staff and lay it on the child. Why didn't nothing happen? Think about that. Why didn't something happen? I'll tell you why it didn't happen. He didn't speak the word. Right. That's why when something happens, you find the word to back up what you're speaking. That's right. Praise God. Amen. That's good. Find it in the word. That my wife and I did a couple of weeks ago. We found the word and took communion. By his stripes, I'm healed. Amen. Praise you, God, for over 2,000 years ago that you shed your blood yes. for my healing. Yes. Your body was bruised Amen. for my salvation. Praise God. And I receive healing Amen. now as I drink this blood in Jesus' name. As I take this bread in Jesus' name, I am the healed Amen. and the delivered yes. of the Lord. Yes. Now, he took that staff down there. Laid it on the child. See, when you... Whew, the servant was trying to get where he is. You don't send somebody that ain't where they need to be Amen. to do what needs to be done. That's right. Oh, see that? Y'all might not think, y'all might think I'm crazy. But I'm telling you something. Don't park your car downtown and send your nephew who's 11 to go bring it home. <laughs> and then you see, he get it there, but it's not in the shape it was supposed to be. Who fault is it? That child ain't got your faith. That's right. That child does not have your skill. Amen. And you go tell somebody that backslid 20 years ago what you're going through. <laughs> That's true. If you can't find the same, make sure you don't go to an ain't. Amen. Oh, my God. God. So here goes Gehazi back to his servant, not back to his master. Ain't nothing happened. I don't know what, but ain't nothing happened. So nothing happened. So what happened next? The man of God goes with the Shunammite woman. If you go back and read on the, uh, the 30th verse, it tells you that he went back with the Shunammite woman. Read that, baby. Go ahead. Yeah. And the mother of the child. Go to the 30th verse. Uh, and the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. Amen. And Gehazi passed on before them and laid the staff upon the face of the child, mm -hmm. but there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore, he went again to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awake. And when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and laid upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and put his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, Take up thy son. Then she went in and fell at his feet, and bowed herself to the ground, and took up her son, and went out. Okay. Now, what happened? He sent the servant before him. Nothing happened. Amen. He came with the woman of God. Now, think about this now. He came with the woman of God. 
How did he come? In faith. Amen. Two together. Right. Agreeing. Agree. Two together that agreeing in faith will cause something to happen for there is no faith. Amen. Remember that. Where two come together agreeing in faith Amen. will cause something to happen where there is no faith. Amen. Now, but the way you make it happen is to follow the instruction Amen. of the leader. He, he got the vision. He knows God's plan. God reveals to him the plan. But then you got to be in line enough to follow Amen. the plan. Amen. See, now, when, when he's blessed, guess what's going to happen? You're blessed. You're blessed. If he's in a mess, <laughs> you better go. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> but what I'm saying to you is this. Everything that we do has to be under faith. Amen. Not your decision, but under faith. Amen. Jesus said, when I come back, will I find any faith? Amen. Now, he's asking y'all to hang with those out there that ain't got faith, not even thinking about getting faith. Let us dwell together that have like faith. Amen. So he walked seven, he walked back and forth seven times. What does seven mean? <laughs> when the perfected time was perfected, he laid his head against his head, his eyes upon his eyes. His hands upon his hands, his lips upon his lips. Man, you got to have faith. Amen. You got to know your daddy. Amen. He dead. But remember, the only said dead when the man of God was back to the house. Why did it say it then? Because he was supposed to change death to life. Amen. You tell dead work, you got to go. Amen. You ain't going to stay here this day. Amen. Any sickness, uh-uh-uh. You ain't staying here. You, this your last visit. Amen. You are not staying here. Glory to God. You got to go. Amen. He gave me my healing over 2,000 years ago, and you think you're going to take it from me? Amen. No. Jake, they're kind of quiet. I don't know whether they hit me or what. No. Oh, okay. okay, okay. But anyway, what I'm saying is this. Amen. Your faith got to work, baby. Amen. Especially when a storm comes. Especially when something comes unexpectedly. Amen. He's going to, the devil's going to see how you will react. That's why he's going about sneaking, right. creeping, mm -hmm. looking, yep. and scoping. Yeah, I got a shook now. It's the time to do it. It's the time to do it. But you got to do like Samson did. When he found out he was free, he shook himself. Amen. You got to shake yourself. Go to that mirror and talk to yourself. Amen. Wait a minute. Do you know who you belong to? You, you shake that mess off. I'm going to slap you. Talking that crazy mess. That ain't me. That don't belong to me. Amen. So what happens? When he got instruction from God, he laid his faith, his face on that child, his eyes on his eyes, the nose and the lips, they're all connected in the right perspective. What am I saying here? Everything got to be synchronized. Amen. 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 You, don't tell me to lay my, head, lay my lips on my wife's lips and I'm got her chin. My nose on her nose and my, and my nose on her mouth. No, everything got to be exactly right. Amen. The faith move got to be fulfilled in your purpose. 
Glory to God. And when everything lined it up, the Bible said, the child sneezed seven times. God's number of what? You can't get it no better than that. And guess what happened when that child woke up? That same anointing that was on the man of God was transferred to him. That's why y'all got to be connected to the right power source. Amen. Don't get a battery that goes on a lawnmower and put in your car think you're going somewhere. Amen. What you doing? I'm putting my new battery in. Battery about this big. <laughs> and I'm going to run that great big car. Turn over that motor. You about to get food. I hate to tell you. You will be parked here tomorrow too. Y'all think I'm joking. Larry, when you get ready to go home, take your battery out and go bother me in lawnmower mode and tell me I need a jump. And he can say, yeah, you need some miracle grow quick. <laughs> So when it was perfected right, what will you see in the house of God? See the signs and the wondering. Yes. You'll see the growth of the expanding of God's purpose. Amen. Just because you don't see him now, call him into existence. Amen. Every chair in this place be filled Amen with somebody hunger Hallelujah. for the word of God. Amen. Every person that comes in here that needs deliverance will get that deliverance. Amen. Start thinking like that. God, I knock these chairs right now in the name of Jesus. I speak fullness in these chairs. I speak people to come in here with a hunger and a purpose for God. I speak now Amen. that lives will change Amen. when they enter into your house. Hallelujah. Putting things in the right place and talking to the right people. Amen. She wouldn't even talk to that servant. Yes, all is well. But when she got to the man of God, she unfolded the vision. Amen. I'm saying to you today, be you young and old. Talk first by getting things in the right place, then talk to the right people. Y'all understand what I'm saying today? God has a plan to change and establish a glorified church in this end time hour. Because these people that are going to be hurting <clears throat> And needing somewhere to go, you got to be shining. Amen. The glory of God has to be on you. Amen. Listen, there was a woman that was homesick by herself. And she said, Lord, I need some help. But a few years later, earlier, her daughter had died. And this doctor received a knock on his door and when he opened the door a child was standing there said my mama's sick and she need help bad and it was pouring down rain it was thunder and lightning and he got all his medical things together and came before me said you're a brave little girl to come out in this weather for your mom she just said the girl just he said the girl just smiled they got to the house the girl opened the door and he went in he went on to the room and proceeded to work on the mom. And he told her, you know, you got a brave little daughter to come out in this brother for you. And she said, what does she have on? He described the raincoat, yellow, but for real, yellow rain hat and the rain boots, everything was matching. And she said, open that closet right there. When he opened the closet, the rain hat, the coat, and the boots were there. He said, I don't understand this. She said, my daughter's been dead over two years. 
<sighs> Say it again. An angel. An angel came as the daughter. Now, there was another incident. See, I, 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 like, to, I like to confirm what God is doing through, through known shoes. Amen. There was a pilot driving his, flying his airplane, and he had somebody riding with him that did not know how to fly. And the man that was driving, the pilot, had a heart attack. And the man hollered, Jesus, help me. And the farmer in the field looked up, and he saw a man walking on the wings of the airplane. Now, when the airplane landed, the farmer ran to the airplane. And look, he only saw two. The rescue squad came and got the uh, man that had the heart attack. And he said, now, where's the other man? He said, what other man? The man I saw running on the wings of your plane. <laughs> he said, man, there was no angel. Just, just saw she but two-seater. He said, no, nah, man, you trying to pull wood on my eye. Man, I saw this man. When that plane tilted that way, he went to the other side of the wing. When the plane dipped that way, he go to the other side of the wing. And when it got balanced, he stood in the middle. Where is he? An angel. God has his angels assigned to you. Amen. And if you're not speaking the word, they can't work for you. That's true. You got them in the, in the starting blocks and they can't run. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Putting things in the right place and talking to the right people. We got to be unified with Holy Spirit. We got to have our focus on his purpose, on his vision. And when you allow God to do that, he'll do a quick work through a slow process. I know. A quick way, quick work through a slow process. You know how sometimes you want it now and you ain't a now time? You're in the wrong time zone. So what I'm saying to you today, if your spouse, your children, your friend come to you with a situation, with a problem, then you ask God to give you the answer. Amen. Why? Because they were assigned to you Amen. to give them what they need. Amen. Amen. Be ready. Amen. Be ready. 